Hey, Cooper here once again. Thanks for tuning in. A, another quick episode of My Opinion. Uh, I did a weather report today in reference to buying puppies from the same litter, litter mates. And a couple of people asked me for more detail. The reason why that you sometimes do not want to choose to buy puppies from the same litter is if you don't have the time to train them separately, you're going to have issues later. Oftentimes, many, many, many puppies that are litter mates, they get to a certain stage, especially males, uh, and get into a confrontation stage, and it can be driven by uh, one of the family members becoming, having their cycle, can trigger it. Uh, bitches in the neighborhood can trigger it. Spade animals can trigger it. So the individual, because they're at the same testosterone level or estrogen level, at the same age or size, oftentimes want to run one or the other off or the power struggle of territory. So thinking like dogs, they don't think like humans. It's, it's no different than if you've ever had brothers and sisters and the sisters and brothers fight amongst each other because they share each other's clothes or took up somebody's space at the time that they didn't want their space taken up. It's the same type of mental discrepancy that you might want to attach to it, but it's not the same as humans view it, because humans can view it as a discussion. Dogs are going to view it, and it's going to be seen as aggression, or seen as a lash out, or seen as a problematic situation of discourse. So when it comes to training your dogs, you have to put a lot of separate time in. You're going to have to have a really strict, on-point no command that stops their activity right now because you're going to have that eyeball, eyeball section or conversation that they're going to have amongst each other over food, over a toy, over a bed and spot. It could be driven by anything. You'd be outside, inside. And all of a sudden, they're chasing a cat and they, they turn on each other. So there's a lot of factors that can trigger the behavior. The hardest part about that tr behavior being triggered is once it starts, it's really, really, really hard to stop. And the humans in this scenario have to be really, really strict in stopping it. Uh, the bait and switch, drugs won't stop the problem. Different treats won't stop the problem. Interactive, non-interactive training is going to encourage the problem. So you're going to have to do an interactive type training process where you're going to have to show the dog the consequence for their actions. And if you're not willing to take on that mindset, you're going to have perpetuated problems or you're going to be forced to place one of the two dogs, which is never a conversation that it's easy for me to go through when I have to deal with people. Because otherwise you, you may have a, a fight every day that you're not present in. So your, your dogs will have to be kennelized during that whole time frame that you have them when you're not present or you're going to have the issue. That's just knowledge, that information that you know over time. Litter mates can do that, especially if they're litter mates of the same sex are usually more problem than litter mates of different sex. So if you have a male and female, it's a little bit different than having two females. Two females can be bad, just as bad as two males. So when you look at litter mates, you have to take that into consideration when you're, when you're a breeder keeping two puppies, when you're a new owner and you just fall in love with two dogs, you have to be really, really careful of taking two puppies from the same litter. And if you're taking two puppies from the same age, then that can cause the same type of problems too. They don't often not have to be litter mates. They can be of the exact same age group. And you have the power struggle of who's gonna to be top dog because they live in the survival of the fittest world. They live in the here and now. They don't live in the negotiation world that says, that says, you guys just need to get along because you're family members. That's not how they cope. So having that in the back of your head and knowledge, passing it on from one friend to the other, it's information that you need to know. Thanks for tuning in. Just my opinion.